गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज ऑडियो बुक साइंस क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर टू पार्ट टू वॉट इज अ सोल्यूशन अ सोल्यूशन इज अ होमोजेनियस मिक्सचर ऑफ टू और मोर सबिस्टांसिस यू कम एक्रॉस वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सोल्यूशंस इन योर डेली लाइफ लेमोनेड सोडा वाटर एट्सेट्रा आर ऑल एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सोल्यूशंस Usually we think of a solution as a liquid that contains either a solid, liquid or a gas dissolved in it. But we can also have solid solutions alloys and gaseous solution here. In a solution there is a homogeneity at the particles particle level. For example, lemonade taste is the same throughout. This shows that particles of sugar or salt are evenly distributed in the solution more to know alloys alloys are mixtures of two or more metals or a metal and non metal and cannot be separated into the their components by physical methods but still an alloy is considered as a mixture because it shows the properties of its constituents and can have variable composition for example brass is a mixture of approximately 30 30% zinc and 70% copper a solution has a solvent and a solute as its components the components of a solution that dissolves the other component in it usually the component present in a in larger amount is called the solvent the component of solution that is dissolved in the solvent usually present in lesser lesser quantity is called the solute examples a solution of sugar in water is a solid in liquid solution in this solution sugar is the solute and water is the solvent second a solution of iodine in alcohol known as tincture of iodine has iodine solid as the solute and alcohol liquid as the solvent third aerated drinks like soda water etc are gas in liquid solutions these contain carbon dioxide gas as solute and water as solvent four air is a mixture of gas in gas air is a homogeneous mixture of a number of gases its two main constituents are oxygen 21% and nitrogen 78% the other gases are present in very small quantities properties of a solution a solution is a homogeneous mixture second the particles of a solution are smaller than 1 nanometer it means 10 to the, to the power minus 9 meter is diameter in diameter so they cannot be seen by naked eyes third because of very small particle size they do not scatter a beam of light passing through the solution so the path of light is not visible in a solution next the solute particles cannot be separated from the mixture by the process of filtration the solute particles do not settle down when left undisturbed that is a solution is stable concentration of a solution in activity 2.2 we observed that groups a and b obtained different sets of solutions so we understand that in a solution the relative the relative pro proportion of the solute and solvent can be varied depending upon the amount of solute present in a solution it can be called dilute concentrated or saturated solution dilute and concentrated are comparative terms in activity 2.2 the solution obtained by group a is dilute as compared to that obtained by group b activity 2.3 take approximately 
50 एम एल ऑफ वाटर इज इन टू सेपरेट बीकरस एड सॉल्ट इन वन बीकर एंड शुगर और बेरियम क्लोराइड इन द सेकेंड बीकर विद कंटिन्यूस स्टीरिंग वैन नो मोर सोल्यूट कैन बी डिजोल्व हीट द कंटेंट्स ऑफ द बीकर टू राइज द टेम्परेचर बाय अबाउट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस स्टार्ट एडिंग दूट अगेन इज द अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्ट एंड एंड शुगर और वेरियम क्लोराइड दैट कैन बी डिजोल्व इन वाटर एट अ गिवन टेम्परेचर द सेम एट एनी पार्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर और सोल्यूशन दैट कैन डिजोल्व एज मच सोल्यूट एज इट इज कैपेबल ऑफ डिजोल्विंग इज सेट टू बी द सेचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन इन अदर वर्ड्स When no more solute can be dissolved in a solution at a given temperature is called a saturated solution. The amount of the solute present in the saturated solution at this temperature is called its solubility. If the amount of solute contained in a solution is less than the saturation level. it is called and an unsaturated solution what would happen if you were to take a saturated solution at a certain temperature and cool it slowly we can infer from the above activity that different substances in a given solvent have different solubilities at the same temperature the concentration of a solution is the amount mass or volume of solute present in a given amount mass or volume of solution there are various ways of expressing the concentration of a solution but here we will learn only three methods mass by mass percentage of a solution equals mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100 second mass by volume percentage of a solution equals mass of solute upon volume of solution into 100 third volume by volume percentage of a solution equals volume of solute upon volume of solution into 100 example 2.1 a solution contains 40 g of common salt in 320 g of water calculate the concentration in terms of mass by mass percentage of the solution solution mass of solute of salt equal 40 g mass of solvent water equal 320 g we know mass of solution equals mass of solute plus mass of solvent equals 40 g plus 320 g equals 360 g mass percentage of solution equals mass of solute upon mass of solution into 100 equals 40 upon 360 into 100 equals 11.1% what is suspension non homogeneous systems like those contains by group c in activity 2.2 in which solids are dispersed in liquids are called suspensions a suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which the solute particles do not dissolve but remain suspended through or the bulk of the medium particles of a suspension are visible to the naked eyes properties of a suspension suspension is a heterogeneous mixture next the particles of a suspension can be seen by the naked eyes next the particles of a suspension scatter a beam of light passing through it and make its path visible next the solution particles settle down when a suspension is left under undisturbed that is a suspension is 
unstable they can be separated from the mixture by the process of filtration when the particles settle down the suspension suspension breaks and it does not scatter light anymore 2.2.3 what is a colloidal solution the mixture obtained by group d in activity 2.2 is called a collide or colloidal solution the particles of a collide are uniformly spread throughout the solution due to the relate, relatively smaller size of particles as compared to that of a suspension the mixture appears to be homogeneous but actually a colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture for example milk because of a small size of colloidal particles we cannot see them with naked eyes but these particles can easily scatter a beam of visible light as observed in activity 2.2 this scattering of a beam of light is called the tindall effect after the name of the scientist who discovered this effect tindall effect can also be observed when a fine beam of light enters a room through a small hole this happens due to the scattering of light by the particles of dust and smoke in the air figure 2.3 a solution of uh, copper sulfate does not show tindall effect b mixture of uh, water and milk shows tindall effects tindall effects can be observed when sunlight passes through the canopy of a dense forest in the forest mist contains tiny droplets of water which act as uh, particles of collide dispersed in air properties of collide a collide is a heterogeneous mixture second the size of particles of a collide is too small to be individually seen with the naked eyes thank you for this time